Okay, so that was karaoke at the Red Frog Pub, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna let YouTube copyright that whole thing. <laughs> I'm gonna give that one in for free. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm editing that out. <laughs> no way. Are you? That looks good, right? It looks pretty good that background. Anyway, we're here at the uh, punch lineup. Okay, punch it's not. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, lime, oh, it's lime, the Limelight lime. Punch Lineup Comedy Club yeah. for PG Comedy. Yep. And uh, currently waiting for uh, William Martin. William Wild Lee Martin. Bill. Wild Bill. Wild Bill. But anyway, we've seen him a few times before. He's pretty funny. Oh, and then after this, we're going to. Where are we going to? Uh, the show. The show. What is it? 88 Keys. 88 Keys Key show after this. And then. Uh, there's an 80s glow party today. I, I don't think we'll make it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, but I don't think we're going to make it. No, we have to be up at like 5 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Costa Maya for the water park, Maya Kingdom, so. We'll see. got to make sacrifices. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. And I only have like less than eight minutes. Yeah. I only have less than eight minutes to record on my phone currently. So, uh, yeah. We'll see how that all works out. I'm Georgia. Hey, remember where I'm from? You all nailed it. Especially that guy who said Georgia. <laughs> Are you ready for your headliner? Maybe. Who said maybe? I said, are you ready for your headliner? Yeah. Well, fresh up his brand new one hour TV special. And you better watch out for his new special on the Country Network coming this May. Put your hands together, go wild and crazy for William Lee Martin. Put your hands together one more time in Georgia, everybody. Let's hear it again for Georgia. Big round of applause for the sound light lady back there. Let's hear it for Bethany, everybody. Put your hands together for her. Go ahead and clap for the wait staff, everybody. Clap for the wait staff one more time. Let's hear it for Alex. Go ahead and clap for me again, everybody. Clap for me again, sir. Good to see you, man. Have you had a good cruise? Yes? Yes? Yeah, I hope so, man. I just got on board. I mean, I was literally one of the last people on board, so uh, uh, I was hoping I'd get the day off, but here we are. Here we are. So, it is good to see. You know, I've been doing comedy for about 22 years, but I've only been doing cruise ships for about seven years, and I, I still have a full tour schedule on land, but uh, when my agent first called me about doing a cruise ship, can I be honest with you? I told him, I said, no, dude, I'm not going to do a cruise. I've never been on a cruise. I don't, I don't know nothing about cruising. The only thing I know about cruising is what I saw on Titanic. <laughs> and he said, no, Bill, they got a nightclub on there now, and you don't have to censor yourself, and it's packed every time because they don't have anywhere else to go. And, uh, and I said, well, cool, send me to the Caribbean, right? And he called me like uh, three weeks before I set sail on my first ship. He said, a little wrinkle, Carnival just called and said, you need to do two family-friendly shows while you're there. And I said, whose family going to be there? <laughs> you know, because around my family, I can cuss, but some people are uppity. And, uh, <laughs> all right, this is my good side. Good to see y'all, sure. 
He called me back. He said, Carnival said you can curse during the show as long as that word is in the Bible. <laughs> so I spent three weeks reading that book. And uh, <laughs> I know it started out great. Everybody's naked. And uh, I got lost in the middle by the end. I'm like, I don't know what's happening now, but there's four people on a horse. And, uh, okay, apparently this side's only read the Bible. And, uh, <laughs> Then he called me two weeks before I said, Sally said, Bill Carnival just called again and said that band of friendly show don't do anything of an explicit nature. And I said, dude, you already told me two to 82 is going to be in the room. I'm working on my fart jokes. And uh, <laughs> I figure those are the safest because both those groups laugh at them and they can't control them. And uh, <laughs> still nothing over here yet? No. <laughs> then they called me two days before I said, sell on my first ship. They said, Bill Carnival just called again. Said that family friendly show don't do anything that's religious, political, or controversial. So on behalf of me and Carnival, good night. <laughs> All life for 88 Keys, Playhouse Performance. The uh, comedy show was pretty funny. Even though it was a clean comedy show, it was funny as hell. What's his name? Will, William? Will, Will, William Lee. William Lee Martin. William Lee Martin. Yeah, he was really, he was hilarious. Probably the funniest, funniest comedian we've ever seen on a ship. It was like the second or third time we've seen him. Oh. So we just got out of 88 Keys. 88 Keys, it's called? 88 Keys. 88 Keys. They got a piano bar called Piano 88. Yeah? I'm not doing nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing to see. You didn't announce it in all fairness. Sorry, she's just being annoying. I'm not. I'm like, always. Nothing to see here. You didn't call it before you started it. She's a good You know. Just K&E wrecking the room. yourself yep as you can see we are not going to the 80s party today it's not uh, gonna no it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen you don't like the 80s that much I yeah guess. well you know not really 80s no nah. not really you grew up in the 80s you could technically become i'm a 80s. 90s baby you though. could technically become How you're 90s, 90s baby, baby. because that's, 70s, some, baby. that's some music that i I was born in 79, homie. You technically become that as in 80s because you were born in the, no, the end but, of 79. No, but 80s, the music maybe. that that influenced me the most is the 90s. But you're not in that. No, I was but born in 79. But you can't call yourself a 90s baby. No, I'm not. You I'm could not. say, I like 90s music. You're not a 90s baby. I'm actually a 79 baby. That's no, like saying, actually an 80s that's baby. That's like saying I'm a 2019 <laughs> baby, but I'm 13. Does it make sense? No, I'm not. That's exactly that. what you just said. 
don't make any sense. I'm just saying you the said music of I'm the a 90s 90s, baby, but I was born in 79. Like, technically, the music of the 90s really fueled my childhood. Hood. <laughs> And on that bombshell, we're going to end the video. If, if you like to leave a thumbs up, if you like to watch more, hit the subscribe button. If you like, if you like to be notified every time we upload another video, just hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. The bell icon like? Drake Bell. That was so lame. Drake Bell. Drake Bell is lame. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jake Brell Jake. <laughs> Drake Bell is the GOAT. It's a goat, not the it's goat. The goat. No, he's not. You gotta do goat. something There's better than goats. Drake, though. What do you? Have you read Drake and Josh? And until the next adventure. Well, why don't you Deuces. make them up then? I. I